Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily futures market review for the trading day ending Wednesday, August 19th. Firstly to gold futures today and uh, here we see very strong buying coming into this market and that follows the attempted retracement uh, of this very strong uptrend uh, that moved from 1084 up to the 1124 resistance. The sell-off wasn't uh, terribly strong with a lot of uh, very small bodied candles in there and for the day prior to today's trading we saw the market unable to close down below the Kitchen Sen. The Kitchen Sen holding is very strong support for this market. Today the buyers have come in very solidly and a resumption in the um, similar way to we saw it's, uh, the uh, strong upside momentum in this trend bouncing off 1084. Uh, the buyers have closed with control, breaching up through the 1124 uh, previous area of resistance, but finding resistance back around the previous level at 1133.9. There is an opportunity here for the buyers to continue the trend to the upside. Uh, the extent of any likely move to the upside is uh, probably up around this 1145 level of previous uh, support and resistance. If we do see selling coming in, looking to 1124 to hold a strong support, and down below there we should see very uh, solid support coming in around the 1111, 1112 area with both the Kuchin Sen and the Tenkan Sen. Now uh, we do still have a bearish market in that longer term time frame by trading below the Ichimoku cloud, but we're bullish in the medium and fast term time frames, and this is suggesting that there has been a very important change of sentiment in this market in those faster time frames. The chicka span is still below the corresponding price action so that's supporting uh, just the bearish activity in the longer term time frame and suggesting that if this market does trade higher over the next couple of days we're likely to see a change in that momentum to the upside that that chicka span represents. Now just looking at our bands here with uh, the uh, with gold futures and uh, here we previously saw strong trading uh, down below the lower band suggesting we had a very strong bearish bias in the market. We saw the market test up through the upper band with a lack of follow through then the band squeezed together uh, and the market finding support at the upper band and now uh, continuing the trend to the upside with uh, this strong follow through and the upper band holding a strong support for today's trading as well. This suggests that we have transitioned into a strong bullish bias in that medium term time frame. A good test will be down at the upper band around 11.19 if the market does test down to there over the next couple of days but if we look at the band see they're starting to move apart and we've had this cyclical nature in uh, volatility where we have high volatility to low volatility and then to high volatility and uh, that high volatility tends to manifest itself as we're seeing here in trending price action. Next to uh, NYMEX Oil and uh, here we've seen uh, the market breaching down through the 42.45 level of uh, previous uh, support. Uh, in the recent past that area is held as resistance. The market traded to the Tankard Sen uh, for the second consecutive trading day and as I mentioned quite often when we have strong negative momentum in that fast term time frame the Tankard Sen holds as a very important and uh, strong area of uh, resistance uh, if the trends to the downside support if it's to the upside and in this case strong selling coming in off there. Sellers in control a very large black body candle something of an extreme candle because it's one of the largest that we've seen for some time so we may not see the market breach down through the $40.50 level we may see the market just move sideways a bit um, any retracement back up to the $42.45 level may see that area hold as resistance and then the sellers come back in we do have very strong support below here, $40.50 and down at $39.99, but if we breach down through there in a bearish manner we could easily see this market trading lower and just looking at the bands here with uh, NYMEX Oil and here we see this very strong trading activity down below the lower band highlighting that significant second time frame, medium term time frame trend that the market's been in and once again we retrace back up to the bands and we've sold off. So watching the bands here 42.25 to continue to hold as resistance if we do rally up to that area but this uh, continued activity as I've mentioned below the lower band highlights the very strong negative bias in the medium term time frame. 
looking next to uh, wheat futures and uh, here we've seen the market hovering above and below the $500 level and uh, for the last couple of trading days we tested down below there a lack of follow through very strong support extending down through to 4960.50 and down through the 4.88 previous level of support um, at the moment we are seeing some buying coming in the market's testing around the round number 500 it, it is an important area wouldn't surprise to see the market just test up above there but we're likely to see very strong resistance coming in at the ten cent indicator at 507 if we do test to high levels but uh, in that short term time frame uh, with the market testing above and below uh, the ten cent we uh, do have quite some indecision um, in the longer term time frame we're trading below the Ichimoku cloud and below the kitchen sense so we still have negativity but a, a solid bearish breach down below 488 could then see the sellers come back into this market to, uh, with some force and test down to 466.50 but uh, we can't pre the market. We have to wait until the market trades around that level. And just looking at wheat futures here with the bands and this sac trading activity really does highlight that there is a lack of momentum to the downside here, lack of strength. With the market continuing to trade within the bands, bat bouncing back up on multiple occasions to the middle of the bands, finding some resistance there, um, finding support at the lower band at the moment. However, what we're seeing is a squeeze going on, so let's get ready for trending price action. Whether it's to the upside or the downside, we won't know until we see the breakout, but what we want to see is a bearish breakout and then a strong bearish follow through if it's to the downside or a bullish breakout and strong bullish follow through if it's to the upside. Next to corn futures and following the strong uh, selling from about a week and a half ago the market trading down to around the 359 level we've seen the buyers come back into the market in a rather mild way um, it, rallying off the back of very small body candles suggests that uh, we're not seeing a lot of momentum in net terms each day the market is climbing higher but uh, we do have very strong resistance around this 381 level and uh, around the tank and sand indicator this is the third consecutive trading though we've been testing around here and at the moment we are just trading above there on this current candle um, it is an important area strong bullish close could see the market trade higher uh, but uh, not a lot of uh, faith in the market doing that following this very weak uh, and fairly indecisive trading over the last uh, uh, couple of trading days and just looking at the bands here and we're trading within the uh, bands trading very close to the middle of the band so no clear direction in this market in that medium term time frame bouncing back up to find resistance around that middle band if the sellers are strong enough they could uh, uh, show us some downside momentum and uh, they would have to breach down through that lower band and then give us some strong follow through that lower band is around the 374 level next to the US 30 bond futures and uh, here we've seen some buying coming into the market today um, one of the largest white body candles that we've seen for about a week or so and uh, we've seen the buyers close with control but importantly support coming in at the 157.12 area for four of the past consecutive trading days the market has bounced off there to varying degrees and today is the strongest bounce off there with uh, the buyers uh, finding some strong upside momentum there is a uh, good possibility of the buyers testing high but if we look at the shadows on these candles here this has been an area where the market has been rejected from quite strongly so I'd like to see firstly a strong close up above that 159.11 area above those highs and even then we could see rejection if the market even tests up to this 160 22 area just above 160 so some important trading coming up over the next day or so but in line with the market being uh, bullish in the longer term and medium term time frames the next move here is more likely to be to the upside to the downside that doesn't mean that it will be uh, but it's more likely to be um, if we do see the market trade down through the tank and cent looking to 157.12 once again to hold a strong support looking at the bands here with the uh, US 30 year bond futures and uh, here this really does highlight the strength in this market in that medium term time frame trading up above the upper band for the vast majority of uh, this uh, second time frame uptrend in terms of higher peaks and higher troughs um, the area around the upper band holding a strong resistance we've tested back to the middle of the bands and we've bounced off there quite strongly today this is suggesting that if the buyers are strong enough they should continue this trend to the upside and to the S&P uh, 500 hourly futures here and uh, some negativity entering the market here for today's trading has completed if we look at previously we were trading up above the cloud we saw the market then transition uh, to uh, some trading activity within the cloud 
today and then uh, breaking out down below the cloud rallying to find resistance at the bottom of the cloud and at the uh, kitchen center and the tankard center and then selling off quite strongly to find support down at the third pivot point support level the uh, third uh, test down to the third pivot point support level suggests that this has been something of an extreme day it suggests that we're not likely to get the strong follow through that we saw for uh, that day's trading has finished. Um, it suggests that uh, if we do trade lower, uh, we'll be looking to the area at the first pivot point support level at 2060 to hold as support. We could even see the market rally, but uh, what we're seeing at the moment is rather weak indecisive trading. Any uh, rally may find strong resistance at the middle pivot point level around 2080, and then around the Kijun Sen and Tenkan Sen around 2081, 2080.